In this video, we are gonna see how to make multiple 2D detailed drawings using SketchUp so that you can save time and concentrate more on your presentation. What's going on fellas? I am Gio and this is Geo Creations. You can find me on Instagram as Geo German. Let's jump right into the video. Before getting to the topic, consider joining this small community by subscribing to the channel for new architectural content every Wednesdays. Alright, those who are following me from the beginning, you might have known this video, where we turned a simple sketch into a final render only using Photoshop. And then recently I thought of adding some 2D drawings with it, so for that, I made the same as a 3D model in SketchUp just for those 2D drawings and I did not touch AutoCAD for this. You may think I'm crazy to do this, but I'm not. Let me explain why. Rather than doing multiple 2D drawings, you can just do one single perfect 3D model. For instance, can you imagine making a perfect 2D section for this design? No, right? This is a parametric design done using Rhino and Grasshopper. So rather than drawing a section from scratch, you can skip to 3D modeling so that you can concentrate only on volumetric perception. After doing one single perfect 3D model, you can take multiple sections from whatever angle you want. And if the model is accurate, you can even do the working drawings with it, but it's a bit complicated because the lines won't be so perfect when you import that into AutoCAD. I'll show you how to do that by the end of this video, so stick around. First, let's see how I came with this isometric view. I've recreated this render in SketchUp with interiors. After that, I've removed the perspective. To do that, go to camera and check parallel projection. Now find the perfect angle for you and set the view to isometric. If you can't find this toolbar, right click here and select views. Now for getting this exact result, we need two PDF outputs from SketchUp. One with hidden line style and another one with wireframe style. To export, go to file, export 2D graphics and in the drop down menu, select PDF and now export the file. I don't know for some reason, the vector files you import in Photoshop becomes lighter. So before bringing your files into Photoshop, open the file in Illustrator. Select all and increase the thickness of the strokes under the properties section. I am giving 5 points here. Now you need to select all, drag and drop it into Photoshop. An interesting thing with Illustrator is you can sync it with Photoshop. For instance, let's say I need a thick profile around this. For that, I want to click on this thumbnail of this layer. Now automatically it will open on Illustrator. Now let's create a new layer and draw a thick line around the profile of our isometric view. Now you just need to save this file. All the changes will automatically reflect in our Photoshop file. Amazing right? Now I'm bringing the wireframe output. I'm putting it down below the hidden lines layer and reducing the opacity for further details. And you can mask out the unwanted areas like this table over here. And also you can provide details like this slab and glasses and also you can give a subtle white tint to it to separate the background a little better. Ok now let me show how I came up with this base. First make a mesh using perpendicular lines. Now select all and make it as a small object. Press Ctrl plus T to transform and now right click and select warp. Now you can smooth it and can change its shape to however you want it to be.
Now bring it inside the presentation and mask out the extras. Let's select the area we want using the marquee tool and hit on the mask button over here. Now I made a subtle gradient at the back to define the space even better. Also you can skew the letters by making it into a small object and transforming it by holding down control. We can also warp it a little bit. Likewise I took multiple sections and came up with this. To know how I came up with this render, do check out this video by clicking on this i button or check the link in the description. Now as I promised, I'm gonna export this file as AutoCAD as DWG and make it ready to do a working drawing or just it can be a section in CAD format. Before that, a like to this video will be wonderful. First, we need to export this file as DWG. For that, as usual, export it as 2D graphic and in the drop drawn menu, select DWG. Now let's open the file in AutoCAD. Here you can see that the section cut is in a separate layer. Let's turn it off for now. You can see these lines are not perfect and may have some overlappings. So to get rid of that, we need to use overkill. Select all and type the command overkill. Leave the settings as it is and now all the overlapping lines are gone. But the lines are still broken. To fix that, select all and use the command join. Now you can see the adjoined lines turned into a polygon. You can now turn on the section cut layer. Now it's easier to play with the thickness of the layer and also you can give hatches without any hassle. I turned up the layer initially to avoid it merging with the other layers. This method is definitely good enough but it's not perfect. Here's why. The section will become over detailed so that you may miss some important informations and also the drawing won't be perfect at every instances even though if the model is perfect. So you still need to spend quite a lot of time to make it perfect. If you have any suggestions regarding this, let me know in the comments below and if you know any other better ways to work on this, please share it with the community. Speaking of community, subscribe if you haven't already so that you can also be a part of these communities. Signing out for now, catch you guys in the next video, see ya.